X-Men Apocalypse, you're Storm, uh, you're one of Apocalypse's four horsemen. What's your relationship like with Apocalypse? What's the emotional journey that leads Storm to Apocalypse? It's so interesting that you would ask me that because that was like the main thing that I wanted to focus on was like, I knew that the, the big question would be, well, if Storm is such a pure character, why would she go with Apocalypse? And for me, um, I got it almost instantaneously after I read the script, which was when you are reduced to nothing, so you take away all your lovely clothes and everything and people are just constantly telling you that you're not good enough and that, and that you'll never amount to anything and you're stealing for food and you're stealing for clothing. Um, and someone comes along and they tell you exactly what they see, which is deep inside you. And they say, you're a phenomenal human being. You're a phenomenal mutant. You know, you are a weather goddess, you know, and um, that strikes a chord in anyone. It's like a woman who's been single her entire life and a man finally tells her that she's beautiful, you know? It's that, it's that awakening of something inside you that affirms that you are good enough. And that's what attracts her to Apocalypse right away, is that he sees her and he's like, hold on, you're a level what mutant and you're stealing for food? You know, and it's such a surprise and it's, it's even a surprise, you know, to, to people who read the comics, you know, is that, oh my gosh, she was reduced to so little and yet she's so fantastic. So the relationship between Apocalypse and Storm is that of, um, is that of real unconditional love, you know? And it's like, you're wonderful. And for someone to just tell you that, for, and it's like the, almost the first time hearing it, it's like angels singing. Wow. So good, bad, evil, it doesn't matter. It's, it's not about what that person's done, it's about how they treat you. He sounds very persuasive. Oh, he um, is. <laughs> he also gives you uh, a power boost. Mm -hmm. Can you give us any idea of just how powerful Storm will become? Well, here's the thing. When you first meet Storm, she's still figuring out how to use her powers. You know, she's still figuring out how to control them. She's got emotions and hormones and everything that kind of feed into why they're not working. Um, and when she meets Apocalypse, he puts it all into place. He's like a chiropractor almost, you know? And she's sitting here trying to stretch her way into alignment and he just, a few clicks, a few waves of that bubbly hand, <laughs> whatever, you know, that he has. And, and he makes her more sure. He makes her more confident. He makes her powerful. So where she's like trying to summon, she's now in just like encompassing and creating and mimicking and throwing. And, and it's like, it's going like zero to 100 real quick. Not all of us can control our powers. Then don't.